Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. This is chat app series. So now from this video, we will start over notification part. When we send message to other user or we send request, we will receive the notification on another device. So for this, we need to use Wally or Retrofit library. So we can use any of them. So first of all, we will add the dependency of the Wally. So go to browser and search the Wally dependency. So here we have dependency so we will copy the dependency and just paste it inside this over build.gradle module app file and here we will paste that dependency and click on sync now okay now inside this browser we will search firebase cloud messaging http protocol we will send the notification by http http protocol so here is the link we will use this link to send the notification so first of all we will open our android studio and here we will inside this chat activity because we need to send the notification inside this chat activity so here we will create the string url and here we will paste the link so i will copy the link and here simply paste we will use this link and by using this link we will use our json object to send the notification i will explain it later so here we need to create the request object sorry request queue request queue and we will use this request queue to initialize it so here we will initialize it request queue equal to volley dot new request queue and here we will pass the context so i will pass here this okay now we need to create the object so when we send over message let me open over send message method here we have send message so when we successfully send the message on the firebase database we need to call the method that method will send the notification so here we will create the method send notification and here we need to pass our text so i will pass this text i mean sms so here we will pass it and press alt enter to create this method press alt enter and also on this method and create this method inside this chat activity so here we need to create the json object without json object we can't send the notification to through http protocol so here we will create the json object so i will create json object so select the first one json object json object equal to new json object we will pass the data to this json object here we will use this json object dot put and here we will pass to this is hard code and now here we will pass over inverted commas and slash topics we will pass the topics because we need to subscribe that topic for example you have a youtube channel and you, someone want to subscribe that channel and he will get the notification it is same like that so here we have to pass slash and now here we need to pass over user id so here we will pass other user id so like this and here we have to put in try catch block so i will add in try catch block so now we need to create another json object so here i will create json object json object json object one equal to new json object like this so here we need to pass the title bodies and few stuff in this json object so here we will use the second json object one dot put now here we need to pass title so i will pass here title and here we will pass few hard code values so here i will pass message from and here i will pass username let me search either username is available yeah here we have other username so here we will use same username so inside this one we have to paste that one other username 
okay now we will pass json object dot body so here we have json object one dot put again here we will pass body and now here we need to pass over body so here i will pass the sms so here we have sms we want to show this sms on the notification okay now we will use first json object and put this object in the first one so here we will use put and here we will pass notification make sure you have same spelling otherwise it will not work so here we will use json object one we will put the json object in the first json object like this okay so here we will create the json object request this one and again we call it request equal to new json object request and here we need to pass the request make sure you have select the request from volley request dot method dot post here we will use this post and next we have to pass over data so over data is over json object request sorry json object so here we will pass json object so next we have to pass over response listener so here i will pass new response listener so press enter it will automatically generate this method so now here we need to call another method so here we will pass new and again response listener like this and here we will put semicolons and here we need to pass curly brackets and here we need to pass get headers so here we need to type get headers we need this method get headers by using this method we will post over data and get the response so and here we have error here we have to use url that we have created at the top okay now we need to create the map that will send the data so here we will create the map you can also create the hash map so here i will create the string type and again string type and now i call it map equal to new hash map okay now we will assign the data to this hash map so here i will call map dot put and here we need to pass over few stuff and here we will pass content type and here we need to pass over application and slash json format because we sending the information of json object so that's why we have to pass here okay now we need to pass map dot put authorization make sure you have same spelling now open over database and click on this setting icon project setting and click on cloud messaging and here we need to copy this key so here i will copy the server key and go to our project so here we need to pass key and here we have to paste that key and put a semicolon here and here we have to remove this return and we have to return our map and also at the end we have to call the request queue that we have created at the top dot add and here we will pass over request that we have created here okay now when we click on send message it will automatically call this method and created a json object we will use the volley to send over notification from one user to another user on that particular device we will check if our user id is matched with this user id we will receive the notification so in the next video we will receive the notification this is or actually send the notification so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel see you next video take care